What's up, everybody? We got next episode of the Guardian Gauntlet here, and we will be playing Ares again. No God will Let's do this. Against Kronos. Okay, so Kronos is pretty good. Uh, he can stun me out of my chains, out of my flames. But... I don't know. If we're able to juke him, maybe, but... Oh, this is... It's not a good matchup. <laughs> I would rather rematch the Heimdallar. Uh, I'm gonna go with the strat that, uh... That pretty much everyone told me that tried Assassin's Blessing so we can actually take camps. Why not? Why not? I'm definitely getting beads because against the Kronos, when he hits his three, if you're not able to beads it, it's gonna do half your health with his combo. If you're able to, able to beads it and jump, just walk out of it, it's really good. I almost always get second relic, either blink to blink over his three, or I will get, please tell me you're not invading. Please tell me you're not trying to invade. Well, I'm bad. You are trying to invade? All right, well then I'll just get that and then stop. What you doing, buddy? I mean, it's working. He got it. Can I kill him though? That did not go according to my plan at all. But if I kill him, it's worth. If I kill him, it's worth. Yeah, all right. So I screwed up this chain. Um, and then he just wanted the buff really, 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 really badly. I don't know what that was about. He got it, but Invading in Ares is kind of kind of scary. I did have a lot of buff buff uh, What do you call it? Buff secure uh, not buff secure, but damage just just damage on the buffs. So that's pretty good um, I'll be honest. I've never built assassin's blessing in duel. I Have good normal damage like normally I would have warriors blessing to not take a ton of damage from the minions But uh, uh our damage is pretty good Let's see how fast we clear these uh these mids. If we can take him before he gets over here. Well, I got I got him. I don't have beads, so I'm very scared. Do not want to get hit with this slow time. All right, I think I should recall. I think I should recall. All right, nice. <laughs> Gotta love it when they try to get you, and just barely they don't. I just realized we don't have a buff on us, though, because he did steal our blue buff, so let's take this. Well, red buff's gonna be up in a bit. Maybe... My god, you take that fast, though. My lord. I am actually might have to try Assassin's Blessing on some other Guardians that have trouble clearing. Maybe Geb. Maybe Fafnir. Ooh. Um, I've been trying a lot of things out with Fafnir this, this uh, season, you guys, and Fafnir kinda sucks. <laughs> He's way worse than last season, just because of the that people are starting at buffs, and he can't take buffs. So maybe if I try Assassin's Blessing on him, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do that. Okay, yeah, this is definitely the right start on Ares. Oh my god. Oh my god, you kill, kill Red Buff with one ability. Kinda wanna play Ares Jungle now, I'm not gonna lie. I can't get him with my chains, he'll juke it. Get his beads or- oh! Perfect. Good damage, but he got good damage on us, too. Our beads will be up soon, which is good, but I just don't, don't want to die. I don't want to take a ton of damage here. I feel like he's definitely going to invade my buff, yes? Okay, this is good. As long as I don't get hit by his one, we're good. We're golden. We're golden. We're golden. That's good. That's good. That's so good. Yes. Get that snowball, dude. Let's get that snowball rolling. Oh, this is working very well. Very well. Yeah, I'll probably get Pythags this game because uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Pythags, but it does give 10% pen and Bancroft's doesn't. So let's get, let's get Pythags. That's so weird that my, even though usually leveling your three on Ares is just so bad, but with Assassin's Blessing, just the damage it gives you on buffs and even the damage in normal fights, it's going pretty well. All right, let's get that. 
Um, Pythags. So Pythags is going to give us 70 power plus the passive. So 100 power. 100 power. 100 power, 10% magical penetration, and a bunch of life still and health. So not too bad. It's like half the damage of Bancrofts, but we kind of need penetration. I still haven't tested Obsidian Shard on Ares chains. Uh, someone told me it works, but only if you fire the chains quickly, which is weird. Not going to be leveling up our ult very much because he has two ways out of it. It's like, it's okay for the damage, but we're not really going to be using it that effectively this game. I cannot believe the amount of damage my 3 is doing. Like, I knew Assassin's Blessing would give me a lot of clear, but my god. Pretty sure uh, Rexy was the one that tried this and made it work. So, yeah, I would I would have, I would have probably eventually tried it, but my god, it's way better than I thought it was. I'm actually going to have to try it on, like, Geb. Gab Vafnir. Ganesh, maybe? Maybe even Ymir, dude. With Assassin's Blessing, I bet you Ymir would have enough time to take speed buff. Then go here, wave, take this. At the start of the game. You just have so much. I missed. I can use my, my ultimate to uh, immune his by the way, which is not too bad. Ow. I think he's missing stuff. And we're missing stuff too. He's probably gonna ult here. Yep. Alright. Alright, he missed his three. We can probably counter. Well, no. Not with this wave. I hate when it's hard to get the right angle on that. Alright, we gotta back up. We gotta back up. Got back up big time. He's gonna go steal our buff. This sucks. Um, let's get for this. We'll get Void. Well, Void. Look at Kenji's. Void is. Void's okay. Um, it doesn't work well with percent pen because it's percent reduction. Just kind of like how demonic doesn't work too well with obsidian. This where it works well is when there's just a ton of defense, but Kronos is maybe gonna get one defense item and that's it. I think I'd rather have the cooldown from Genji's just to have my chains all the time. Now the question is, did you or did you not steal my blue buff? Pretty sure you did. Pretty, pretty, pretty sure. Oh, you didn't. Bragan you can still now. Nope. Okay, cool. This evolves after how many stacks? 50 stacks? We're getting there, I guess. Yeah, that's not up, buddy. Ooh. Good Bancroft's okay. Man, I can't let him get red buff. That missed? Man. I obviously don't want to lose this entire minion wave, but I really, really don't want him taking that red buff. Okay. I'm in range of my XP, so that's good. Oh, I thought I barely stole it. Thought I barely stole it. Oh god, Kronos is annoying. And my tower's gone too. God, Kronos' movement speed and damage is just so high. It's funny that him invading me actually kind of worked out for me. And he has full minion wave. Ah, uh, probably should not try to contest that, but hey, hindsight's 20 way. I'm actually going to lose that. That sucks. Or maybe I don't. Okay. <laughs> now, if only, if only I could take full demon. I obviously can't, so I can take mids. That's like it. I can either take these or these. Might as well take mids. I am going to have to get some wards because I I am known this Kronos is going to backdoor me. 
I know he's gonna try to sneak around and backdoor me. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. Is he gonna go straight for it? Is he gonna try to push minion waves for pressure? Is he gonna try to go for bold even maybe instead of backdooring? I need both words. Oh god. If he goes for bold demon, I'll probably be in trouble, but we'll see. Now, I didn't see if he went to left or right, because I lost a uh, view of him. Oh. Okay, he's in lane right now. That's good for me, I guess. Ow. Yeah, I walk into that a little bit. That doesn't do too much damage. Now that we have defense, that doesn't do too much. Might get a Typhlins too, just so we have some life still mixed with our Pythags. And just a ton of power and we'll have 20% pen. Might be worth. Oh, look how fast he is. Wow. Gem of Iso might be good here too. I don't go Gem of Iso on Ares too often, but maybe. Oh, this sucks because my Phoenix is so low, I can't really go back to heal. And he's full health, of course. Why would he not be full health? Ow. That hit me. Of course that hits me. Oh, God. Why, Kronos? Why must you do this? I think I'm going to need an Aegis. Or a Blink. I'll go Blink. Alright, well, now that that's gone. Should I try Obsidian? Obsidian might not be too bad. Or Typhons. Typhons. Typhons will give us so much power. Because Pythags is giving us so much life still. Pythags is giving us what? 24% life still. So that'll be 48 power from from Typhons in addition. That's pretty good. Surprised he did not backdoor me, by the way, so I was wrong about that. <laughs> he actually went straight for it with the minions. I couldn't stop him. Yeah, I think I would rather fight Heimdaller than uh, Kronos, but you can't ban them all. Again, there's not really much use of me using my ult. It's pretty much to pressure him to not ult, I guess. Because he has beads and his ult, which sucks. Missed. And if I ult, I just stand in place, basically, and just take it all my health. Well, I cannot kill these minions. There's like four waves here. Oh, I can't do it, dude. Uh, it's like if I walked back to base, that little amount of time that I walked back to base with that many minions there, I would die. Uh, man, that, that's definitely the better start. I just wish I didn't fight Kronos, you know? That sucks. I, oh well. GG. I will do this. I will get the win with Ares. I have in the past. We just need to go against a very specific gods. Because Ares kind of sucks. But, you know. What the hell is this? Oh, Battle Pass stuff? I don't have Battle Pass. Daily oh. It's my login reward. Okay, I guess. All right, let's look at the details. Dang, dude. All right, well, we'll get it next time. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.